Hi. Um, so I'm I'm Brianne Olivieri Moy. I am the new tenure track faculty member at Northeastern, and I'm duly appointed at the Rue Institute in the Odyssey Center. Um, so I am very new, and I learned about Odyssey in the interview process. So my work, the area that I focus on is HIV and aging, and I'm really interested in uh, identifying hard to reach populations and secondary data. I've focused most of my energy on Medicare data up until now, and we're hoping to bring Medicare data to the Odyssey Center. Um, but uh, I have a history of using secondary data, but I've never used the OMOP common data model. And so I'm really excited to learn more about it and collaborate with people. So I really want to bring people to Northeastern to collaborate with the resources we have there. And then I want to bring Northeastern researchers to the Odyssey Center. So um, and I'd like to continue my work in HIV and aging and LGBT health and, and using secondary data and algorithms to identify hard to reach populations. Uh, I don't want to talk too much, so that's <laughs> the quick and dirty version. Great, Brianne. Thank you so much. Thanks for <laughs> leading off and uh, you know setting the bar for everybody. But it's great to to meet you, and and certainly excited to uh, you know all the work that's being done at Northeastern. Certainly, we'll hear more about that as we go. Uh, also, just a, a note. So we, I shared this list of of the order of people. If we move past this, then I'm going to open it up to any volunteers. So if you wanted to do this, uh, you're a little inspired by some other people, and we have time at the end, certainly I will open the floor for people to join. Uh, on that note, uh, Nick, I will turn it to you. All right, Nick, you're muted. Okay, there you go. Can you hear me now? Okay, cool. Hello, um, my name is Nick. I'm a systems biology PhD student, um, graduating soon, hopefully, um, at Columbia University, but I'm housed within um, DBMI. At Columbia, I work with Nick Tatinetti, if anyone knows him. Um, and uh, I mostly do a lot of my thesis work, is mostly in uh, trying to see if real world observations can be understood as um, from like molecular mechanisms or physiological mechanisms and we'll see trying to do that when, um, sorry sorry i'm mostly trying to understand uh, growth and development in children um using real world data but um i kind of uh, a lot of my uh fun work on the side um, does a lot with the common data model from Odyssey, and I'm trying to uh, work with more bioinformaticians and try to um, go from um, the understanding of sample centric genomic or sequencing data and trying to make it person centric, like the common data model is. And I know there's a lot of working groups like the um, genomics and oncology working groups trying to incorporate this kind of data into the human data model. I'm just trying to play around with it and work with people um, across the country and different hackathons trying to build software and trying to see how can we do this if it's possible. Um, we have tools on GitHub, one's called RoomUp Omics. Um, I did work on that software and a couple of hackathons and um, cutting a melon and at um, on a virtual hackathon last month, um, we're going to try to work with J4GH um, in November and a Barcelona hackathon, the Elixir hackathon. Um, but it's really cool <laughs> and uh, I would like to learn and possibly work with people in the Odyssey community and try to play with uh, more sequencing data and how that can be uh, realized as person centric. Great, Nick. Thank you so much for joining and introducing yourself. Gotten to work with Nick a little at Columbia as well, so he's terrific and uh, great to have him here and being uh, more work, more, more part of Odyssey. Uh, here's a familiar face, Adam Black. Take it away. Hi, everybody. I'm Adam Black. Uh, I'm a data scientist at Odysseus, and um, 
uh, my educational background is uh, I have a bachelor's in e economics and math and a master's in statistics. And before working at Odysseus, I worked at the Maine Medical Center Research Institute, uh, which is where I really got into using the R programming language and also met Andrew Williams, who first introduced me to Odyssey. In uh, 2018, I went to the first Odyssey, my first Odyssey conference and got to uh, take the tutorials, and I saw Martine's talk on uh, um, the legend study and all those results. So it's really inspiring. Um, I went back in uh, 2019, uh, and then in 2020, I joined Odysseus and actually got to uh, co-lead the the ecosystem tutorial, which I took a couple of years earlier. It was my first tutorial, so that that's really cool. I've slowly been getting more and more into into Odyssey. And um, and now I am actually maintaining the Andromeda package, which is one of the one of the Hades packages, which I'm super excited about. And um, I have some amount of my time that I get to spend working on developing the Hades packages. Um, so where, what I'd like to do, I think, in the future is just continue on that path and uh, continue working on uh, on Hades and improving the software. I think there's just so much um, potential for uh, software on that runs on top of the common data model um, and and Hades is fantastic but also I'm just trying to learn the software and also uh, figure out how I can can contribute and improve it um, so yeah that's me glad Thanks, to be here. Adam, Adam led one of our uh, March breakout sessions on Hades will you be uh, taking part in the testathon next week I yeah I think so yes there you go. Well, hopefully everybody will uh, be inspired by that and, and join uh, Adam and Martine in that testathon next week. Okay, uh, Karen Crowley, if you want to, um, you want to take it away. There we go. Hi, Karen Crowley. I'm a biomedical informatician trained out at University of Utah and Intermountain Healthcare and um, joined the Brown Center for Biomedical Informatics at Brown University a couple of years ago. And we have recently um, gone through the interesting experience of OMOPing data. We're working with the Rhode Island Quality Institute, which is the health information exchange uh, broker here. And um, well, with over 500 data sources, you can imagine that um, it was an interesting experience. Um, oh, okay. And uh, we just, thank you, Lee Evans, installed Atlas and it is working, uh, at least against our test data set. Um, we're gonna do some more testing with that. So we are real newbies. And um, funny enough, I'm so far the Odyssey expert here, and I'm still trying to figure out if I know what I'm doing. Um, so uh, I've already been leaning on the Odyssey community. Uh, many of you have been so kind to offer your guidance. And um, Lee Evans, if you're here, pretty much everyone pointed me to you, and we are very grateful for your assistance. Um, and probably the first thing we'll do to add back is we found a few undocumented steps in the Atlas uh, implementation process, and we will uh, we will share those back. Um, other than that, I I don't know how to share. Oh, there it is. I can do this. So, <laughs> oops, I don't know. Did I share my screen? I can see. Yes. Okay, this, this is my one-year-old German Shepherd, Annika. Um, she is my proud, pride and joy, and she's also um, sometimes the biggest pain in my neck. So I thought I would share that with you. <laughs> That's great. We love any kind of, you know, extra information, personal sharing, and I'm sure in a virtual world, uh, the, you have this, the, your dog come in and join in a couple meetings over the last year. Yes, 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 she has. Um, she actually enjoys it. Um, you might have seen from the pictures, she looks a little wet. She loves to play in the water, but refuses to go outside when it's raining to do her business. Well, there you go. That's <laughs> never makes it easy. Well, thank you, Karen, and thank you for all the work you're already doing uh, leading the team at Brown. Uh, 
We will have um, Harold Lehman. Are you here, Harold? I am. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, yeah. Actually, Karen, I can't resist the joke that back in the 2000s during uh, biosurveillance, the joke was that the way Providence, the way Rhode Island does a syndrome of surveillance is by walking to the top of the Capitol and looking around. So, uh, <laughs> so I just didn't know if you knew that oral history. Um, I'm a professor of informatics at Johns Hopkins. Um, I'm working uh, closely with Chris Shute and the, the N3C group on data uh, ingestion and harmonization and with uh, um, Andrew Williams and others on the, uh, data methods uh, and with Kristen as well. So I feel that the N3C is, uh, is an Odyssey satellite and I figured it's time for the, the, to, for the provinces to come into the mothership. Uh, I have a personal interest in kind of methodology, analytic decision support, uh, an infrastructure for computable science, uh, and um, I'm looking for other folks who feel the same way. Great, Harold. Thank you for introducing yourself and uh, joining this. Uh, next on the, my list is Eileen Pryor. I don't see her on the list, but it could be a different name. Is Eileen Pryor here? Okay, let's move to Tina French. Uh, Tina, you can take it away. Yeah, you're muted still. Perfect, can everybody hear me? Yes, we can. Perfect, um, my name is Tina French and I am an RN and a certified professional in healthcare quality. I'm currently um, in Nashville, Tennessee with the Veterans Affairs Office of Research and Development, Vinci OMOP. And um, I've recently taken over for another woman who was actually doing the research project coordination. And um, I've only been in this role for six months. And prior to that, um, or in the current six months, I've actually been doing um, some annotation and research. So I'm really excited to be able to step over and start working with the Odyssey community um, and excited also um, to be a part of the VA um, as there is so much data that we can offer to Odyssey. But to give you a little background on myself, um, first to let you know how um, I could possibly um, contribute is um, I've been a nurse for 36 years. I do have a very wide um, background in different healthcare arenas. Um, one is evidence-based medicine. Um, I did evidence-based medicine for Vanderbilt University Hospital for um, shoot, nine years and um, did evidence-based medicine in OBGYN, anesthesia, addiction medicine, pharmacy, and also dabbled a little bit in vascular medicine and neurology. Um, did clinical decision support um, with the clinical decision support team, as well as um, uh, computer provider order entry, um, performance improvement with my quality background. And also one of the big things that I may be able um, to contribute as far as translating my prior experience was I was on the EPIC implementation team for Vanderbilt and um, I started from the ground up doing the mapping, design, validation, the optimization, and then the content compliance, and then was involved in some um, really uh, big projects um, that were based on a lot of research and research does continue on them like ERAS, which is the Enhanced Recovery After Surgery Program, um, OB and Adult Opioid and CNS Withdrawal Protocols, um, as well as the ketamine and lidocaine um, standard operating procedures uh, for non-critical care areas. Um, those um, procedures and therapies were often done in units, but they were trying to increase throughput and optimize other modalities to decrease narcotic use. Um, so that was a big pilot project. So that's a little bit about my background, but some of the things that um, we want to do in the Vinci OMOP role is we really want to strengthen our relationships and increase the VA participation in network studies, 
we really want to pursue research that aligns with the VA priority areas and to conduct studies where findings can be generalized to that population. And that's really important to me coming from a family who has a lot of service members. And in a few minutes, if I have time, I'd like to show you a slide that has some pictures of my family with service members in them. And just to get into um, a few of the statistics, the VA has over 170 VA medical centers, over a thousand outpatient clinics, nine million enrolled vets and over 20 million historic vets. So that means that there's a lot of historic data um, that can be utilized to help with research studies. Um, and that translates to over 34 billion rows of the data. Um, some of the things that we're doing on the Vinci OMOP side um, to really help improve our data is we're doing regular data refreshes, extensive quality review. Um, we are using the common data model 5.3.1 we're doing monthly drug and lab mappings, and we're doing um, ongoing architecture to support the Cerner um, transition for the VA. Um, we also um, offer research collaboration. Uh, we have the Vinci Workspace, which many of you I know take advantage of, the Vinci Help Desk, the Concierge Services, and then we have really great training um, and um, educational services with the Vinci and OMOP academies. And then last, we do have support staff um, that are definitely there to help you um, if needed. So um, with that, um, I'm not sure that I have a minute, but if I sure. do, I'd love to show you this um, Go ahead. slide. Yeah, absolutely. And, these, and this is my sister-in-law who was in the Navy. This is my father who was um, a Marine, or is, is a Marine. This is my sister who is in the Navy. And um, my brother-in-law and my nephew and my father are all pilots. Um, so I like to, to mention that. And of course, um, this is someone that figures important in my life. That's mm -hmm. Jezebel. And um, that's my sister. And then just real quickly, since we're here, this is kind of my favorite things are nature, nature, nature. Um, I'm a big flower person um, and basically love the outdoors. And these are pictures um, with flying with my nephew and that and dad. This is the Tennessee River and this is the Cumberland River. And those are the baby bluebirds. I love birding. And that's a coyote that I see outside of my window frequently. I wanted to show you the bobcat but unfortunately he was a little too far away to get a good picture of. Um, so that is um, the, my presentation. Thank you very much. And I look forward to working with everybody. Great, Tina, thank you so much. Thank you for sharing and um, wonderful to, to, to hear about your family. Thank you for all of them for their service. And, uh, and it's clear how important this is to you. So this was wonderful. Uh, okay, I am going to, and it, so we found Eileen Pryor. I looked in the wrong place, so that's my fault. Um, I think if, uh, Tina, if you can stop sharing, I think your screen is still sharing. Um, and then um, Eileen Pryor, you can take over. Hi, my name is Eileen Pryor. I'm a physician. Um, I also have a master's in public health MBA from Hopkins. And since graduating there from there in 2010, I've been in Baltimore basically working for MITRE, the MITRE Corporation. Um, so I'm just learning about Odyssey and um, the various working groups to understand how MITRE and a group of people at MITRE that I um, work with uh, focus on observational studies can be involved in the Odyssey community. Um, so right now we're trying to understand Odyssey tools, um, insights and resources to inform uh, MITRE projects, but we definitely would be interested in seeing if we could collaborate or contribute data in some way. Um, MITRE is a federally funded research and development center and they, um, so our main client is the federal government and we work across many different 
um, agencies, um, Health and Human Services, VA, DOD, Health, um, uh, Homeland Security, IRS, uh, but I mainly represent the health group. Um, so uh, we're very also uh, interested in um, supporting a lot of federal projects that deal with observational data and, um, you know, including CMS, um, FDA, ASPR, um, and federal COVID response. So very much interested in, in leveraging, you know, lessons learned from Odyssey to those kinds of projects and promoting observational studies to support policy and other um, decision making. And uh, there's also a group that's interested in interoperability and um, with FIRE and OMOP. So that's not my particular <laughs> um, uh, strong suit, but um, I'm more coming from the, you know, study design research methods and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, we definitely are very interested in learning more about Odyssey and um, we also have, MITRE has like a separate budget apart from commissioned project work to do independent research. So that could be another way to collaborate um, with people in this community as well. Thank you. Thank you, Eileen. Appreciate you introducing yourself and joining. Uh, hopefully everybody uh, who's new uh, we'll continue to join these Tuesday calls. They're a great way to learn about everything that's going on in the community, get updates. Um, you know, we try to have some fun and 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 but really keep you know learn really the whole breadth of, of Odyssey, everything that's happening. So so please continue to join. Uh, Alvin Marcello, I know he had a challenging time, but he was going to try to make it. Uh, is Alvin Marcello here? Okay. Um, Next, I have uh, Siko Den Otter. Hello, everybody. My name Go is ahead. Siko Den Otter. Um, I'm in. I'm living in the Netherlands. Um, I'm working at Erasmus uh, at Rotterdam. Um, I'm a full stack uh, developer, IT professional. Um, I like to uh, to contribute uh, in, in in different projects. Uh, nice to do uh, to do useful work in a way for healthcare and and science. Uh, I worked at different companies, um, developing front end, back end. Uh, yeah, I'm really a full stack developer. Uh, the R language is you know, pretty new for me, but I'm getting familiar with it. So I'm also trying to uh, uh, join the party next week. Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this and I see uh, 108 people in this meeting, so it's a big uh, community. So I'm uh, nice to yeah to contribute to uh, to this. Great, thank you. And I'm glad to have you now part of it. Uh, and Thanks. hopefully next week goes well for you again, that Hades unit testathon. Uh, please join it if you're just interested in, in learning uh, and certainly helping the reliability uh, of the of the Hades package. Yes, okay, um, Aki is another name that you may be a little more familiar with. Um, but Aki wants to uh, share a little bit about himself, but also uh, the uh, Johns Hopkins team. So Aki, take it away. Yeah, thanks, Craig. So hi, everyone. This is Aki, Aki Nishimura, but that's too long, so just Aki. <laughs> um, I'm assistant professor at Johns Hopkins Biostatistics, and also a colleague of Harold, who has already introduced himself. And um, I'm, um, yeah, Craig already mentioned, but uh, at Hopkins, we are trying to develop an Odyssey team uh, spearheaded by my School of Medicine colleague, Paul Naji. I'm not sure if Paul is here today. He's usually here, but maybe not. Yeah. And uh, I'm a school public health representative for the Odyssey Hopkins team. And we have a broad range of people in the team. Like we have clinicians, Cindy Tsai, Kaiser Aziz, Maggie French, who are kind of developing vocabularies lacking from a current common data model as needed. And uh, we had Kristin help us out a little bit. Yeah. and. Uh, Paul has done mapping of Johns Hopkins health system data to OMOP, mostly done. So I'm really hoping to join the upcoming legend type 2 diabetes study. Yeah, and 
besides introducing myself, I also wanted to introduce a couple of very talented PhD students here at Hopkins. I am starting to mentor and, uh, you know, I'm a, just a statistician and uh, I also come from an academic lineage of bad mentors. So I'm really counting on the Odyssey community team to help help these talented young students so that I don't completely destroy their career. <laughs> and in particular, there are a lot of uh, great role models in the Odyssey community, um, like especially accomplished ladies like uh, Jenna, Kristen, Anna, Claire. Yeah, and uh, this student could really benefit from your role model. So, yeah, so let me turn the floor to Emily Scott, who is uh, leading um, the COVID DMAT study with Danny under my mentorship. Hi, everyone. Um, like Aki said, I'm Emily Scott. I'm a PhD student at Hopkins studying biostatistics, and I'm just getting involved in Odyssey. So, I'm excited to learn from everyone here and contribute in the future. It's nice to meet everyone. Great, Emily, thank you. And I know another uh, from Johns Hopkins, Mary Grace uh, Boring, if you wanted to um, to take it away. Yeah, thanks, Aki and Craig and Emily, everyone. Uh, my name is Mary Grace. Um, I am in my background is in mathematics, and then I did a master's in epidemiology, and then I decided I wanted to go into medicine. So I ended up in an MD-PhD program here at Johns Hopkins, and now I am beginning the PhD portion in uh, biomedical engineering and hoping to focus on you know, data harmonization. And I'm sort of two weeks into discovering Odyssey and all of the amazing you know, trainings and support resources you guys have, and I'm just really excited to be here and, and dive in. Great, Mary Grace. Thank you so much. You, you're all in good hands with Aki. I know he's being a little, little humble there, um, but very modest. Uh, certainly, yes, a little modest, but uh, but you are all in good hands. So, so thank you, and and hopefully you all continue to uh, learn from the resources we have and and, and join these meetings. Uh, is Jacob Zelko? Hey, I am here. Can you hear me? I can. Go ahead. Awesome. Uh, Hello, everyone. My name is Jacob Zoko. It's super exciting to be here. Wonderful to meet you all. Uh, so yeah, so just to give an uh, overview of myself and my background, uh, I'm a researcher uh, at Georgia Tech Research Institute, directly with Dr. John Duke. Uh, so it's pretty exciting. He exposed me a lot to Odyssey early on as I joined uh, the GTRI family, specifically the Health Emerging and Advanced Technologies Division at GTRI. It's very exciting there. And I also uh, work with the kind of COVID response, as well as some of the analytics for the Centers for Disease Control, as well as being a researcher at GTRI. So my background or my interest, I'd say, in Odyssey has been a lot on the uh, large scale um, analyses methods that are available. In particular, uh, my uh, kind of research interest as a early researcher at GTRI deals with health equity, especially in the realm of mental health care and rural, uh, rural urban uh, care across the United States. And I'm just very excited to uh, kind of be moving forward with the Odyssey community as I'm hoping to actually be launching a one of the first uh, large scale network studies at GTRI with uh, myself and a couple other colleagues. So quite excited there. I've also uh, uh, kind of I'm very excited to be a part of the community. I'm no stranger to online communities. Uh, as kind of a fun fact, uh, I, with a friend of mine over in Germany, uh, run like a open source animation engine that we actually use for uh, creating all sorts of visualizations ranging from advanced set theory to just making uh, computer art. And actually uh, seeing the active community thriving here is uh, ridiculously exciting. And finally, to end off, I'm also branching into the area of high performance computing, applying that to healthcare, as I both have experience with Python, R, and I'm predominantly actually a Julia programmer um, at the Odyssey Symposium. I'm hoping to present some results where I'm actually showing how R users can leverage tools such as Julia to actually increase their speed, like increase their analysis speed ups by perhaps factors of 10 in some areas. 
uh, similar to how one could do it using RCPP in the R uh, ecosystem. So super excited to be here, super excited to see what else can be happening in the future. And yeah, thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Jacob. Like the, uh, the team at, at Johns Hopkins, you are certainly in good hands with John Duke at, at Georgia Tech. So uh, great to meet you. And, and for somebody with visualization, maybe, uh, maybe we'll see something for the, uh, for the health equity visualization challenge. It may be late notice, but, uh, but maybe, maybe we'll see something special there. Uh, OK, we will move to Morgan Kappa. Morgan. Hi, I'm Morgan. Um, I recently graduated with a BS in statistics from St. Lawrence University in upstate New York. Um, and I'm planning to pursue my master's in statistics at Texas A&M in the fall. Uh, currently, I'm working at Janssen as a observational health data analytics uh, intern with Patrick's team. I'm doing uh, currently, I'm doing some um, uh, data quality analysis, which is really exciting with their team. Um, I have a lot of experience with um, data vis visualization and R, a lot of um, R coding experience, and I'm really just uh, wanting to learn more about the Odyssey community and um, gain some experience. Great, Morgan. Thank you very much. Again, another great team to uh, to be working with uh, all of our uh, colleagues at Janssen. So, and another also great to have somebody else uh, specializing in data visualization. So that is exciting. Uh, okay, I have Kian Zhu. I'm sorry if I butchered that, but uh, you uh, you can take the floor. Sure, thank you so much, Greg. Yes, just call me Chen. Yeah, it's a kind of just uh, difficult to pronounce it to my, to my name. Yeah, so, but first of all, thank you so much for Greg just the uh, name me in the last minute. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm Chen Zhu. So, currently, I'm a staff scientist at NCATS. So, if you are not just familiar with the NCATS, it's a national center uh, for advancing translational science, it's one of the IC part of NIH. So my 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 background is uh, medical informatics. So I have uh, my postdoc training in medical informatics and Mayo Clinic, and work with uh, Chris Shu. I just heard from her about his name has been mentioned. Yeah. So I work with him as postdoc. So at that time, I have been just actively working with uh, different um, common data model like the fire and OMAP. But right now, so I'm at NCATS. So uh, we are currently just uh, working with those uh, just the rare disease. Like the NCATS, we have an active program. It's called Rare and Genetic Disease Information Center. So it's called GAD. So currently, we are just uh, rebuild this whole program. So part of that, one of the aspects is the developer like the um, one of the rare disease ontology. We hope we can just serve as a US standard for rare disease community. So there's a lot of like say harmonization or some other different type of the just the data model. We are actively just working on that. So that's why I'm here really just to look forward to see how we can get some of the just the uh, collaborations through this uh, Odyssey community. Especially, we are also looking for like the specific uh, rare disease applications can help us to redesign or further refine our just ontology structure to take consideration of your just the uh, specific uh, application. And also, besides that, like NCATS, we have a lot of uh, just a uh, different type of the preclinic data. So to 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 support some of the rare disease research, so we are really just look forward to see whether we can have some of the just like the clinic data contribution to the NCATS. Then we can connect those two pieces together. Then we can have a more just a robust or comprehensive application to serve in the rare disease community. Yeah, I'm just uh, look forward to see any just the uh, collaboration can come up from there. Thank you so much. Great, thank you. I was glad you. Uh reached out this morning and, and joined. It, it's great to hear from you. OK, I have one more person who reached out before this meeting. So that's John Gresh. We should have a few more minutes at the end of that. So if you are.
to start calling on people as we go. Uh, but John Gresh, if you want to take it away. I can't get off mute or show my video. I hear you. Uh, it's oh, okay. okay. The, the icon is saying that I'm not. Uh, can you see me at all? I can't, but I can hear you. Okay. So yeah, the icon start. says I'm still muted. Hi, everybody. Sorry about the technical difficulty. I've never had that happen in Teams before. Anyways, I'm John Gresh. I'm working here at NAC, the National Association of Community, Community Health Centers. Uh, I work for uh, Dr. Julia Skapic and uh, Pedro Carniera and Raymond Uy are on my team. Uh, my background is primarily uh, Java relational databases. I have a long history with scientific data and health informatics. Um, I was at Pfizer. I was at United Healthcare. I worked for an EMR company, Modernizing Medicine. Uh oh. Now, now you may have gone on you. <laughs> All right, John. I'm just getting to the climax of his career background, too. Fun. All right, John, if you can get back on, let me know. But let's move on. I think the first name I saw, the first hand up I saw was Philip. Uh, so, hello. Hey, welcome. Hi, well, thank you. Um, hi, so I'm Philip Malkovic from Serbia. And this is my first uh, Odyssey community call. I've been involved with uh, Eden. Uh, in the past year, basically, uh, with the COVID uh, call. Uh, we are, I'm actually from Heliant. I'm the lead tech uh, in Heliant, uh, which is a, a Serbian company uh, devoted to, uh, it's basically a vendor for EMRs and um, uh, health information systems. So we are the largest uh, vendor in Serbia, and um, uh, we've been involved with the Clinical Center of Serbia uh, uh, COVID project, and now we're involved with three more uh, data partner projects, uh, and uh, we're also uh, attempting to get certified as an SME uh, within the Eden uh, community so that we can uh, help out with um, uh, the DTLs, etc., uh, within the for the OMOP CDM. And uh, yeah, I've been involved with with the CDM um, and the Odyssey tools uh, in the past year, and it's been uh, a, a great ride. And I'm, I'm I'm hoping that we can you know collaborate some more in the future. Thanks. Great, thank you so much. So obviously, the work that uh, Eden is doing with both data partners and SMEs has been really exciting. So uh, great to hear from you. All right, I saw John Gresh pop up, so let's uh, okay. give this one another try. And I can see you now too. Thanks. I've gotten so I, I went into a panic. I'm so excited to be here. This is such a great opportunity to have the attention of so many outstanding people in the community. I'm just chomping at the bit to share what we're doing here with you. Um, so what we're doing is I'm, I'm setting up the informatics system at NAC, and we get a lot of data from a lot of different EMRs in a lot of different formats. And um, it's really challenging because the data we get is not at all standardized. A lot of times it's very dirty. A lot of times it's pivoted. And these uh, the, the 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 data that we're getting for whatever reason, whether it's a lack of expertise, a lack of availability, or or for whatever reason, we get a lot of very uh, interesting data that we have to pivot and transform and fit into a common data model. And so we're doing that. We have the order of magnitude millions of patients that we're working with. We have uh, an HIV project that's very active. We have a women's health project that's very active. We have a COVID project that's very active in a number of, of other areas that we're focused on. Very focused on health equity, uh, social determinants of health, um, active in the, the, the gravity fire community and things like this. But right now, um, like I said, one of our biggest challenges is the data that we are getting, the extracts that we're getting from the EMRs are uh, very heterogeneous. They're there's a lot of variation and we spend a ton of time cleaning our data. And the goal here is for us to develop a cleaned data set that can be shared and used. Uh, so uh, obviously a, a beautiful fit for OMOP Odyssey. And so we're in the process of uh, getting our data and, and publishing it at, in, in an OMOP format. The other thing that we're doing is we're using Databricks and Databricks has been an amazing technology for us. It's allowed us to take all of this data that's like I said, has is very heterogeneous and be able to pull it into a data lake and then to be able to ETL that out into a data warehouse model and get everything pulled into our common data model. And now, as I said, we want to be able to make it exposed as OMOP. And then eventually we'd like, you know, we'd love to be able to get cleaner data. And anybody that thinks that it's easy to get data out of these EMRs and easy to get data in a standard format 
that, I would love for you to show me how it's done because <laughs> the data we get is very heterogeneous and, and very very messy uh, much of the time. Not always, but much of the time. Um, so if, if there's anyone out there that is in the process, I know there's a newcomer group for people uh, that are doing OMOP data. I found that, but I would be very interested in connecting with anyone else that's working with Databricks and Apache Spark. Uh, I'll put my email in the chat. You can uh, uh, contact me here on this call or email me anytime. And that's that's us. Great, John. Thank, Thank you John. so much. And uh, glad you were able to make it back. Uh, let's go to Alexander. Uh, hi, I'm Alexander Haslam. I work for uh, the California National Climate Research Center. I'm one of the uh, application developers uh, out there. Um, currently, we're working on um, taking our five decade old data sets um, and migrating it to um, a more modern system. But um, our data is ripe for um, analysis and collaboration. Um, so we're trying to, for, for, for first thing we're trying to do is we're trying to um, get some stuff into the common data model and try and get um, the other national climate research centers um, to to collaborate with us on that. And then if that all goes well, then hopefully at some point opening up a bit uh, to um, um, outside um, parties. Um, so the data sets uh, cover a wide range of things, including you know, behavior and psychology, aging research, uh, neuroscience, including spinal injury research, um, infectious disease, including Zika, SARS-CoV-2, HIV, um, so yeah, we're, we're just really excited to try and um, get all our data in a more collaborative um, uh, setting. Um, yeah, that's great. Thank you, Alexander. Appreciate that. Uh, let's go with we have three hands raised, so let's we can I hopefully get through that. Um, Bezad, Bezad, um, you can correct me and uh, and then introduce yourself. <laughs> Yes, can you hear me? Yeah. I can. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Behzat, and uh, uh, I have worked uh, uh, at the Stanford University as a postdoctoral research fellow uh, since January, and uh, I got involved in some project, NLM project, uh, 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 that I have uh, to work with the uh, Odyssey tools in order to improve, in order to conduct our research. At the moment, uh, I'm working on uh, opioid dependency prediction, and uh, we are working uh, actually uh, on a project that manage. Uh, actually, you know, we are working on a pain management after surgery, and uh, before joining uh, the, the Odyssey community. Uh, I was working on uh, several uh, industrial projects and uh, I was working on online learning platforms and uh, actually I was thinking how, we, uh, how I can uh, actually develop uh, the platforms like uh, the ones that you have uh, developed in the Odyssey. And so uh, when I got involved in the project and uh, uh, when I'm familiar with the Odyssey tools, I was Site very excited and uh, these tools very useful and uh, uh, I'm working with many of uh, capability of Atlas and uh, I was thinking how we can improve and how we can add some other features into the, for example, characterization parts of the Atlas. Uh, I have already worked on the imbalance problem effects on the uh, prediction models and uh, we, uh, and I th and I saw uh, there is no good feature engineering uh, in the. Uh, Odyssey tools, and I was thinking uh, how I can uh, improve and may and have a contribution uh, to improve the characterization uh, of the Odyssey tools, characterization of the Atlas, in order to uh, determine uh, the good features uh, in, in, in order to use in the PLP package and uh, something like that. So I'm so excited uh, to be here, and uh, I'm continuing to learning. Uh, the Odyssey tools and the Odyssey community ha, uh, actually has a very good uh, documentation and uh, the open source uh, of the tools is very good and I have learned lots of things by investigating uh, the source codes and 
uh, as uh, I have an actually computer science background, and so uh, all of these things uh, are very interesting. Uh, were interesting, and so uh, I'm going to learn a lot. Uh, and uh, I'm going to I'm going to learn. Uh, these tools and uh, use all of these tools in, in our uh, research. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for uh, introducing yourselves. We'll go a couple minutes over here for anybody who can stay. So let me turn it to Julie. Hi, everyone. My name is uh, Julie Lamoureux. All the time that I was waiting uh, to talk, I was thinking, what am I going to say? I can't bring anything to these people. They are all way too smart. Uh, I work for a company called Dimensional Insight. Um, we do ETL from uh, EMRs and any kind of source of data. If there's data uh, that is accessible, we can extract it and combine it with EMR data to create all sorts of dashboard. Um, we're starting to use our code to uh, do some predictive analytics uh, using those um, those combined data and curated data. Um, I am started my productive adult life as a dentist then uh, found that uh, human interaction was great, but data interaction was uh, my passion. So um, did a master's in biomedical um, uh, biomedical science, focused on statistics, and uh, finished my master's in statistics. Um, I really want to explore all the resources in Odyssey, and really am excited to uh, look into the R codes um, for. Um, that that you have available once i know more about you i will be able to share what i can do to help your <laughs> your very fantastic group great julie thanks so much as kristen pointed in the chat uh everybody brings a unique perspective everybody uh everybody is is important here so uh so thank you for for joining and uh and introducing yourself okay jody ann let's uh make a strong finish here I'll try, Craig. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Jodi Ann. Um, I'm the program manager at Columbia University. Um, you know, currently working on the FDA Best Convener um, grant. And really, I've worked with some of the familiar faces here. Um, but I really just wanted to take the time and express my excitement for being a part of this group. I recently joined earlier in the year. And I'm just really excited about the work that's being done, the community in general, and the support. Um, I've previously worked in um, at Northwell Health, where I've done projects around diabetes and diabetes and working with diabetes oncology, diabetic oncology patients, and really improving um, medication adherence for those patients, and also working with um, in the outpatient setting to improve advanced care documentation. So. My goal is really to use that experience and try to convert that here. Um, and, you know, my experience with mining data from EMR truly has led me to um, develop even a greater appreciation for what you guys are doing because it's really difficult. <laughs> and as Christian and others have said, dirty data, <laughs> like, you know, doesn't come easy. And the work is, is usually tough, but there's a level of you know excitement and relief and joy that you get at the end so i'm really excited to be a part of the group really excited to collaborate with everyone here and i'm looking forward to it great jody and thank you and thank you for all the work you've already done uh this was great it was great to hear from so many people um we'll do this again uh probably after the symposium but uh Everybody makes our community stronger. If you're new, don't feel intimidated. Uh, there's a lot of ways to learn and grow. Uh, join work groups, uh, join these calls, follow us on the social channels to hear what's going on, post to the forum, ask questions, reach out to people. It's a really a great community. I'm fairly new too, so I've done it all. I've reached out and, and it's a welcoming, uh, terrific group of people and, and, and doing great work. So. Uh, 
your first step, if your first step was today, it was great. And uh, so thank you for joining us and uh, have a great week. And we'll see you uh, next Tuesday to hear about Proteus.